Once you educate the boys, they tend to leave the villages and go search for work in the cities. But the girls stay home, become leaders in the community, and pass on what they've learned. If you really want to change a culture, to empower women, improve basic hygiene and health care, and fight high rates of infant mortality, the answer is to educate girls. When you take the time to actually listen, with humility, to what people have to say, it's amazing what you can learn. Especially if the people who are doing the talking also happen to be children. You can hand out condoms, drop bombs, build roads, or put in electricity. But until the girls are educated, a society won't change. Osama, Ba, Bashir roared. Osama is not a product of Pakistan or Afghanistan. He is a creation of America. Thanks to America, Osama is in every home. As a military man, I know you can never fight and win against someone who can shoot at you once and then run off and hide while you have to remain eternally on guard. You have to attack the source of your enemy's strength. In America's case, that's not Osama or Saddam or anyone else. The enemy is ignorance. That only way to defeat it is to build relationships with these people, to draw them into the modern world with education and business. Otherwise the fight will go on forever. If we try to resolve terrorism with military might and nothing else, then we will be no safer than we were before 9-11s. If we truly want a legacy of peace for our children, we need to understand that this is a war that will ultimately be won with books, not with bombs. I've learned that terror doesn't happen because some group of people somewhere like Pakistan or Afghanistan simply decide to hate us. It happens because children aren't being offered a bright enough future that they have a reason to choose life over death. Haji Ali spoke. If you want to thrive in Baldistan, you must respect our ways. The first time you shared it with a baldy, you are a stranger. The second time you take the you are an honored guest. The third time you share a cup of tea, you become family. And for our family, we are prepared to do anything, even die. Dr. Greg, you must take time to share three cups of tea. We may be uneducated, but we are not stupid. We have lived and survived here for a long time. That day, Haji Ali taught me the most important lesson I've ever learned in my life. We Americans think you have to accomplish everything quickly. Haji Ali taught me to share three cups of tea, to slow down and make building relationships as important as building projects. He taught me that I had more to learn from the people I work with than I could ever hope to teach them. If you teach a boy, you educate an individual. But if you teach a girl, you educate a community. What we are trying to do may be just a drop in the ocean, but the ocean would be less because of that missing drop. Haji Ali taught me the most important lesson I've ever learned in my life. We Americans think you have to accomplish everything quickly. We're the country of 30-minute power lunches and 2-minute football drills. 
Haji Ali taught me to share three cups of tea, to slow down and make building relationships as important as building projects. Trust in Allah, but tie up your camel. Sign and scar do. And they did it with something that is basically worthless in our society pennies. But overseas, pennies can move mountains. When your kids accomplish something it means much more than anything you've done. The older I get, the more I appreciate my childhood. It was paradise. Bashir paused to watch a live CNN feed. Bashir was struck silent by the images of wailing Iraqi women carrying children's bodies out of the rubble of a bomb building. As he studied the screen, Bashir's bullish shoulders slumped. People like me are America's best friends in the region. Bashir said at last shaking his head ruefully, I'm a moderate and sulim, an educated man. But watching this, even I could become a jihadi. How can Americans say they are making themselves safer? Bashir asked, struggling not to direct his anger toward the large American target on the other side of the desk. Your President Bush had done a wonderful job of uniting one billion Muslims against America for the next 200 years.